Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today I am here with a topic of how we can fix the out of sequence activities. There are two methods. Basically, trainers have their own tools, but one of them is fix them if the activities are small quantity like small numbers 4, 5, 10, then you can fix easily by changing the relationship. And secondly, I will explain here with the help of tool how we can fix the out of sequence activity. If your project schedule is too long or very big, then how we can fix the out of sequence activities. So out of sequence activities, what are the out of sequence activities? As out of sequence activities are completed in a different order than planned. This is a short and true definition. Like you are planning in different orders, you are planning the activities supposed to be complete. After the predecessor, the successor will complete, but somehow it's come out of sequence or logic will be go wrong though. So the activity will run into the out of sequence. Second and detailed definition is that activity in Primavera P6 is a task that has been scheduled to start before its predecessor. Task has been completed or before its successor task is ready to start. So basically the activity in conjunction, for example, there are three activities A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. So activity 1 is completed on time, but by skipping you will start the activity 3 or activity C. So the activity 2 or B is now the out of sequence activity. The chart definition is that the activities are completed in different order than planned. So let's move forward and see how we can filter the activities and how we will resolve the activities. For the filtration, I have already uploaded a tutorial on the YouTube. If you see here, uh, there is a out of sequence, how we can track trace out of sequence activities in Primavera P6. If you go to the YouTube and search over there, planning P6, and right here in the within the that channel, you will search here out of sequence, then these two tutorial will come up. So in the sequence of the, our problem save tutorials like the how we can do schedule percent is equal to performance percent complete. Secondly, how we can see the roll up of the schedule percent and performance percent complete in our uh, Primavera P6 schedule. And third now this problem, uh, problem solving video is that how we can fix the out of sequence activities. So for the filter option I have explained here uh, three years ago for the filtration how we can filter the activity with two methods but it's uh, easy now we will move forward how we can do it so for that purpose we have a tool over there which called plan p6 out of sequence activities fixer tool and here if you go there youtube link is available there and allow this tool everything like uh, every access over there so the name of that is planning p6 out of sequence activity fixer I will go to the Primavera P6. If you see here, I have opened the, I have created a villa project. The activities, it is very long project with the activities of 5,335 activities. As in the sequence, we have explained these two previously and those all are also available over there. But here now, today is our out of sequence activities fixing, how we can fix it. So open the your schedule. If you see here, the schedule has, I, I did not assign the baseline, you can do it. So here, first of all, we will run our schedule over there. How we can see the out of sequence activities. If you see here, apply selected data, uh, data date, open whatever your data date will be scheduled once. And after that, go to the schedule again or press F9 and view log. In the log, if you see here, now, we will go to the there is no errors and warnings if you close these it will be close over there like this one activities without successor we don't want to see that one if you I close the warnings it will close over all so here if you see out of sequence activities are 352 activities you can see here the activities ids are there you can same copy and paste from here and put into excel as well from this report or you can print by here as well so out of sequence activities how much are that 352 uh, with actual date data date okay finish milestone we don't we our today's topic is that out of sequence activities so out of sequence activities fixing so now i will move to the primavera again close this one now 
I will just export the file relations put into the our sheet and explain over there how it will fixing over there. There are different scenarios. Some of the some are the true and some are the false uh, out of sequence. But we, I will explain over there. So now we have to do file and export. In the export, if you see here, we will go for the spreadsheet XLS. So next, I will explain export the activity relationship here. Activity relationship check over there export okay name same so here i will which columns we required so here we need the same columns if you see here predecessor successor relationship type predecessor status successor activity status then lag in hours predecessor activity name successor activity name and delete this row it will be automatically work over there so if you click here you can see here the columns are there so planning p6 has a right all rights reserved by the planning p6 predecessor successor you can see from here also and see from here also we need same columns over there so copy and paste the mentioned columns okay we will do later on so predecessor successor relationship type predecessor activity status successor activity status lag predecessor activity name and successor activity name so we need those columns so here up to here we need this one we don't need this one if you create a new filter for example it is like that we predecessor successor relationship type predecessor activity name predecessor activity status then we did, don't need the predecessor project successor project we don't need wbs we don't need so lag we will move ahead from that in the sequence if you see here the sequence is lag then then predecessor activity name then successor activity name predecessor and successor activity name we will give the name of there uh, for the export sheet we will say this template is a so here out of sequence activities okay so we need this one activity relationship we will select here okay and then go next you can modify also i will go and give the location on the desktop okay desktop open desktop okay open next and finish the activities are exporting the export was successful close that and go to the desktop here is our tool and this is now the activity relationship sheet i will just simply open this sheet by double clicking what i will do i will copy from here you can copy and paste special all of the data as well but i will copy from here by selecting up to the successor activity delete this row up to the down then shift control and select all control c copy and then i will go to the our tool here uh, what i will do i will just do here the paste special you can paste it but why i am doing paste special to just keep the formatting of my tool so here is our activities if you see here if the formation is not fully done then you can do it format format control as well so here from here format printer as well so now what we need to do we will just run that okay we have pasted the data over there yes so here now if you see here the activities i will just expand it because of the coding something is that so here if you see case number count of the activities relationship type predecessor status successor status suggestion solution so here is our scenario you can visit our website to get this tool this tool is paid it's not free so uh, whenever you want to buy just go to the shop of our website so overall activities now here there was the 350 something in here is the 680 because of the true and false relationship duplication of the relationship it will now fix it automatically so here in case one there are 243 activities finished to start or start to start not started in progress so change to the relationship to start to start and inverse the successor to be the predecessor or start to start plus finish to finish in case of the hard logic note the applied change here is start to start only so in case two 178 activities the suggested solution is that in this case happen in case the involve the relationship or improper update remove the this relationship and add a new one if needed note the applied change here is a delete relationship so case three in case three it is automatically filtered by the 
21 activities change the relationship to start to start and inverse the successor to be the predecessor and add a new one if needed so it will change it if you want 100% accuracy then do it manually but you see here if the 3 680 relationship you will change there so it means it will take time that's why there is a little bit fluctuation maybe it will disturb your logic case 4 238 activity is finish to start in progress change the relationship to the start to start here the case wise it is explained over there if you see here case 1 is there if i just do here for the case 1 filter if you see this is case 1 and the color is different it will tell you where it will be changed internal block zero in progress started what is the uh, successor name and what will do here the tool will tell you first of all delete this relationship it will be deleted and that's why it's written here delete the relationship in case 2 i will just check the case 2 only you see here in the case 2 there is also solution is written over there case 2 happen in case invalid relationship improper update check the update if remove the relationship and add a new one if needed of this solution may lead to open ended activities note the applied change here is a delete relationship so it is also giving you the suggestion then how you can it it will impact over there in case 2 there is maybe the difference for the case wise as well so here in the case 3 if you see here in the case 3 the step 1 is the first of all delete the relationship so it will delete the relationship okay then also in case 4 here if you see here delete the relationship so how it will impact over there i will i have just did that and now i will simply do here that uh, this one okay and now i will copy this one and paste over there so it will be automatically done by this one up to here i will just copy from here you see here now here you see there is no delete option in this in this case case 4 it is only changing the relationship into the start to start and also case 3 is similar that some of the activities it is changing to that so i will copy simply this copy and go there and paste special values here or you can directly paste special values over there into the other sheet i will go there and i will what i will do i will just paste special the values in my sheet which i have to import again into the primavera p6 so i will paste the values over there here are the values just to be the safe side i will change it to the text again if you just do the uh, paste then also do on the text if there is a color and this, this it does not matter over there so now it has been changed i will just save the file i save from here and close that after the closing now i will go to the primavera and import the relationship again import the file excel as next where is our file file don't see from the documents go to the desktop or where you have saved that file this is our file open it okay next and then update the existing project yes i want to update the existing project so import to this is our project okay activity relationship okay finish now it is importing the file in our project so import is successful okay close it close it so i will run the schedule again and see what is the difference it is running the schedule go here and then see the log over there activities without predecessor now you see the activity without predecessor open and activities are shown without successor so you have to fix over there so activities out of sequence activities now it has been fixed you can see here out of sequence activities are fixed as i told you that if you want to fix the out of sequence activities then you need to do manually if there are small activities but it is not possible to do 352 activities in a once then uh, you cannot proceed manually it will take a too much time so fixing this one go to the activity side the activity id and go there and then fix that assign the successor or predecessor so predecessors are only 60 17 activities and successor are 16 activities so you can fix it easily by watching their activity id you can link them with each other how we can fix it manually like manually for example 
the activity is in sequence this activity relationship is there so predecessor and successor are there I, if i show the logic here logic you can see this this activity is started before this activity or this activity is started before completion of this activity so simply you will remove this relationship between assign this relationship this or other relative relationship if you want to fix it normally you can fix from here remove and assign the predecessor or you can fix it from from the gantt chart as well hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz